guys welcome back to my channel it has been a minute since I've last posted and I figured for today's video why not do a little something fun so I wanted to do like a little test challenge type thing of seeing which product works better versus like drugstore versus Sephora so I have a bunch of products with me that I want to show you it's concealers eyeliners um, BB cream foundation even beauty blender I have I have um, primer I pretty much just took a bunch of stuff that I wanted to just test out and see which works better but before I get into that I just wanted to share with you guys that last night I did my first paint night ever and it was so much fun and I want to show you guys what I painted yes my mother clearly gave birth to an artist and she didn't even know it it's so it was so much fun by the way that was totally a joke clearly but it was so much fun and for my first time I actually like surprised myself I think I did an overall pretty good job I was like once I saw that I could blend the colors I was ready to just take it home like that without all of this stuff but if you guys haven't done paint night I totally recommend it it's a really good stress-free environment as well so like if you're really stressed if you've got a final coming up for those of you that are still in school and you want to just have like a de-stressing type of moment paint night is your thing whether you like to paint or not they teach you how to do it so easily and so well like I said I don't paint so for me to like paint this and easily blend it out and that actually came out pretty good, that's when I was like, okay, this was perfect. And when I came home, I felt so relaxed. I slept like a baby, not even kidding. So I definitely recommend it. Now we can get back into the video. So first I'm gonna start. Oh, I even have highlight. I forgot to mention that. If I, I think I forgot to mention that. But I'm gonna start off with Primer, I already primed my face, but just to tell you guys, the Too Faced Hangover Primer is just as good as the Maybelline Hydrating Primer by Face Studio. I like them both. I think that they both do the trick. However, in the past, I have noticed that for some weird, strange reason, when I use the Hangover Primer versus this one, I feel like the Hangover Primer makes my makeup last longer. Like, my foundation will just stick to it and just last longer I don't know if that's a thing I don't know if that's how you guys feel comment below and let me know but it's just something I've experienced but as for primer right now I forgot where I even put it uh, for primer right now um, my skin has been really dry lately so I just use the elf hydrating gel mask if you guys have watched my recent videos you'll know that this is my favorite product out there it runs for about $14 I can link it down below for those of you interested if you have really dry skin this is really amazing so I put it in the morning I put it like around 9 o'clock this morning and it's 139 right now and I still feel it like on my face. That's why I'm not gonna bother going in with the primer right now to put on my foundation. But I just wanted to share it with you guys anyway. So what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna do one half of my face with the Maybelline foundation, the Dream Liquid Mousse foundation. It's an airbrush finish. One of my favorite drugstore foundations and Maybelline is one of my favorite um, makeup brands. So I do use it a lot, and that's why I'm recommending it. It doesn't break me out, and I have very sensitive skin, as you guys know throughout my past videos. I've mentioned it many times, and even for my dry skin, it works too. And then the next one I'm going to use is probably the most expensive foundation I've ever owned. Normally, I use my Born This Way foundation, or I'll even just use a Becca foundation. And this one, I'm going in with the... Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. I'll do the other half of my face and then we can see which one looks smoother, more like flawless looking. So I'll test that out for you guys. I'll be using a beauty blender for both of these products. Beauty blenders I feel like are the same everywhere. I get mine sometimes from Forever 21 because they have the cutest little beauty blenders as you'll see in my past video. I've posted one with like rainbow colors. It was so cute. And then I get mine sometimes even from e.l.f. Even Rite Aid has beauty blenders. I just think that for $20 at Sephora, when you can get one for like $5 or less and it still works the same, then why bother spending the 20 when you can get the same kind of product from somewhere like a drugstore brand or whatever, you know? It just works for me, so I figured why not? So I'm going to use this beauty blender. It's damped already. It's dampened already, and I'm going to go in with this one, but bear with me, guys. My skin is so pale right now, so these colors are probably not for me. These are my a little darker because I had a fake tan before. So we'll see. Let's try it. So I'm going to do 
I'm going to do the scab for my face first with the Maybelline foundation and then this one with the Giorgio Armani right after. So as you guys see right now, this foundation looks really flawless looking and it's dewy and it's not drying. And as I said, this is one of my favorites. Now I want to see the difference with the Sephora foundation on me as well. So we'll see about that. I've worn this time to time. I want to say for a drugstore brand, it's pretty long lasting. It has lasted me for over six hours and this one has done the same. But I just want to see now that I'm testing it out with you guys, I want to see if it has that same clear complexion on me or if it, like if it looks natural, flawless, and if it blends easily. So now that I'm paying close attention, I can see and share it with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and with this one and I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani right now. This one is just so much more liquidy, the Giorgio Armani. The liquid mousse one is a little bit thicker. And I feel like the Giorgio Armani one is already easier to blend. I feel like with the Maybelline one, I had to kind of just really press in there. Like I said, guys, this is my summer color one. So you can tell it doesn't match. I'm so white over here versus here. But I'm just testing it out. All right, so here comes the truth. Truth of the fact is, both of them, I think, work great on my skin. They blend easily, I think. Giorgio Armani, I think, blends a lot better and a lot easier, I guess because it's silky. But the Maybelline one, I think, does the same effect. Only thing is, the Sephora branded one, the Giorgio Armani one, set faster than the Maybelline one. And... The Sephora one is more dewier and it makes me look like I have a good dewy complexion. Whereas the Maybelline one kind of just looks matte even though it's supposed to be dewy. So that's just two differences I'm already noticing off the bat. However, if the foundation works for you from a, a drugstore brand, then save your money and do the drugstore brand. If you like a Sephora brand, go do the Sephora brand. I think that they both work just as good. However, for the money I'm spending for the Giorgio Armani one, it runs for about $70, which is a lot, and versus the Maybelline one, which was like $10, I think that both of them are perfect enough. I think that they work well enough. However, I really love my Giorgio Armani one, so I probably will never change that. That'll probably be my top foundation ever. As for drugstore foundation, the Maybelline one I think will be my top foundation as well for a drugstore brand. Before I get into concealers, just wanted to make a note with um, BB cream. The BB cream, I feel like it doesn't matter where you get it. If you want to save your money, I have a really great BB cream that I'm going to recommend to you guys right now. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer from Sephora I think works great. Um, it works best with a brush. I just feel like BB creams, like I feel like the Laura Mercier one doesn't last as long for some reason and I feel like even though it's for dry skin I feel like it still clings to my dry patches which is weird however the NYX BB cream that I've just tried recently is this gonna focus or is it gonna leave me like this has lasted me very long and it will not cling to my dry patches you just gotta be careful with the color options the color options are always like a light to medium or a medium to dark or there's even a golden option. So I always choose golden just because it works for me in the winter and the summer. I'll sometimes mix my Laura Mercier because it's too light for me. And I'll mix it with my NYX just to lighten up the color a little bit. I found that that works. But for some reason when I use the Laura Mercier alone, it just clings to my dry patches, which is so weird. So this one I think ran for about $45, which is a lot for a tinted moisturizer. I mean, you're getting a good amount, but like... A $45 is a lot. And then this one, the NYX one, runs for about $14. You can get at CVS. You can even order online. Ulta has it as well, I know. And for $14, it's really, really worth it. And it also, like, also with the BB cream, a little goes a long way. Whereas I feel like with this one, you have to keep putting a lot in order to get the product to blend in your skin, which is really totally weird so that's why I'm recommending to you guys if you guys want to save the money and not go the extra mile and keep the money in your pocket I'm going with the NYX one and they do have sales sometimes in CVS too so whenever you have that sale and you're interested 
go get it by all means. Don't hesitate because I'm telling you right now, it's the truth. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want to tell you guys the truth because I've been experimenting with makeup since I've been like 14 and it's just something that I really, really love and this is what I do. I just look at products and compare them. So that's why I want to do this for you guys today. So moving on to concealers, I'm going to be going in so... Again, I'm going in with, this is kind of a, they're kind of dupes for each other, but I'm going in with one of my two favorite concealers, one versus the drugstore, one Sephora. So my favorite drugstore brand concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, runs for about, do I even have the price? Yeah, $7.19. So, okay, $7.19 for a drugstore brand, fine. But the Born This Way one runs for about $30, I want to say, and that's also a lot. So if it works the same and it's a drugstore Sephora, a different brand, go with the drugstore brand, save your money, girl. I'm telling you, like, it's worth it. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly um, what it looks like so you guys can see and compare, and then we can talk about it. Um, I'll go in with the Maybelline one over here because this is also a Maybelline brand. As you guys know, Maybelline is clearly my favorite. And then I'll go in with the Born This Way one on this side. And both of them are shade light too, but like they're different in color, which is weird. But different company, different brand, I guess. So already off the bat, the Born This Way is already blending effortlessly, smoothly flawless looking like it's just natural like there's nothing there as for the Maybelline fit me I'll tell you guys right now it's blending away really nicely only thing is I feel like this one was effortless and then this one you have to kind of just keep blending out if I'm being real with you guys I obviously love the way the born this way one looks but the Maybelline fit me one works just as good. I just feel like this one's more natural and flawless looking and set right away immediately. Whereas the Maybelline Fit Me one, it's setting, but it's taken a little while. So that's my take on it. I still feel like the Sephora brand is winning, but I guess for all the money that you're spending, like it's worth it. But if you want to save the money and you want to get a product that's kind of like it and you want to save, I'm telling you the Maybelline Fit Me one works fine. I feel like both of them are just as flawless looking. The only difference is it takes a little longer to set, but that's something that we can deal with. As for eyeliners and mascara, I just wanted to put this out there. I threw on mascara right now because I'm like, mascaras really you can get anywhere. I like drugstore brand mascaras. Like I said, I love Maybelline. I love CoverGirl. I even love Rimmel mascaras, but my favorite Sephora brand mascara by Too Faced is uh, Better Than Sex Mascara. I think it works just as great. I feel like with mascara, you can't ever miss. It's just what kind of brush you like to make your, to fan out your um, lashes and just make them like more dramatic. And then I feel like with eyeliner, it's kind of the same concept. You can get a drugstore or a Sephora one. It's really whichever you guys like and what you guys are feeling in the mood for. If I can recommend two eyeliners for you guys, I'd say the Wet n Wild uh, eyeliner from Rite Aid or CVS is literally worth it. It's like $2, I think, $2, $3. And then the Kat Von D eyeliner, I think, is also really great for winged eyeliner. And it runs for about $19. So pretty much, I feel like with... Like I said, mascaras, eyeliners, you really can't go wrong. It's just something you can go and get at, whether it's drugstore or Sephora. It's nothing too serious. My biggest concern was lipstick and highlight. Like with foundations, I feel like you can always just get whichever and it's fine. But I feel like with highlight and liquid lipsticks, let's say, for example, I just feel like everyone's always testing out and saying that there's different things with it different outlooks and outcomes. So I'm going to go in with the lipstick and then I'll go in with the highlight. So as for the lipstick, I'm going to take the new Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick. I got it in the shade, in the color, in the color Loyalist. I thought it was super pretty. It's the first one that stood out to me. So I have my makeup remover with me to wipe it off so I can test out my other one. And the other one that I'm going to be using is the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, everyone says this so differently, I never know which is the right way to pronounce it, but let's, I guess, Huda, Huda, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, 
And this is the shade Bombshell, which is also my favorite. I'm going to go in with this one. They're both matte lipsticks, so I just want to see the texture, the feel, and what it looks like. So right off the bat, guys, I'm really, really, really loving the color of this lipstick and the way it feels. However, I feel like it's not drying down. Like, it feels a little sticky. Like, when I go like this, it feels sticky, which obviously everyone hates. But I want to see if that will dry down. So I'll check back in with you guys in about, like, two minutes. Let's try that. So, guys, I feel like this is still a little sticky. Maybe if I add a gloss to it or something, it will go away. But the color is so pretty that... I guess I can suck it up for a little, no big deal, but it does feel a little sticky, which is kind of an annoying feeling. That's my take on it, and it runs for about $10, and the Huda Beauty one, I got this with the kit with the liner and the sheer color on top of it, the lip gloss, and it was $25. I'll check out how much the regular lips cost, and then I'll get back. So the Huda Beauty lipsticks cost for about $20, so $10, $20, if you want to invest in it, by all means go ahead. I'm going to try this one out for you guys. Just wanted to make a quick note that I tried to take off the Maybelline one with water and it wouldn't come off. So you need a makeup remover to take it off because it was not coming off and that was, it was hard, but it's pretty so it's worth it I guess. And both of them smell fantastic. This one smells really nice, too. Guys, right off the bat, this was so easy to apply. Like, this, the Maybelline one was just as easy to apply. I just feel like this one was so liquidy and, like, just creamy that it was so easy. And I didn't have to dip in again to use the brush, whereas the Maybelline one, I had to. It just glided on so nicely, so smoothly, and it does not feel sticky. Does not feel sticky. Does anyone else test their lipsticks like that too? I feel like I always catch myself doing that in the mirror. But it doesn't feel sticky and it dried down right away. It's so matte right now. It dried down so quick. So I'm very happy with this one. If you guys want to go the extra long mile, get the Huda Beauty one. I definitely recommend it. If you guys want a drugstore one, this one's really good. But if you want to deal with the stickiness, then that's okay. I'm sure if you put a gloss or something over it, it won't be as sticky. But if you guys decide to purchase it and put the gloss over it, let me know how you guys like the results. I'm definitely interested in knowing. And then last but not least, I'm going to be testing the highlights. So let's take this one out of the box. The first and foremost one that I've been hearing a lot of people say that they like is the Wet n Wild Highlight Powder. So it's the Mega Glow one. So I got this one. <laughs> there we go. And it's called Precious Petals. It looks so bomb.com. It's so shiny. It just looks heavenly. So I've been dying to try it. And then I got the Becca in Moonstone highlight, which is one of my favorite highlights. This is what it looks like. It's just so pretty. Both of them are two different colors, of course, even though I tried to kind of match with it. They're two different colors. This one's so translucent. So the Becca highlight runs for about $38, and the Wet n Wild one runs for about $5. So I just want to see if there really is a difference in highlight, because if not, then that's another way to save some money too. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to put on these highlights so they can have more glow powder. So because I'm just excited to test it out, I'm going to go with the Wet n Wild one. I'll do it on the side of all my Maybelline stuff, and then I'll do it on um, the Sephora branded side. So right off the bat, I just noticed that, like, it's pretty sharp, the highlight. You can, it's so glowy. You can see it. So for $5, this is a pretty good highlight. And if you guys want a stronger highlight, sharper, you guys can always add more on top of it. I'll add more so you guys can see. But it's very glowy. Excuse the breakout that I have right there. So what happens if you guys don't clean out your makeup drawers and don't realize how old your concealers are and stuff, it's so bad because I spread out my concealer and everything and I will go, I woke up with like breakouts. So please be careful. Definitely learn that mistake from me.
And then now I'm going to use the other side of my brush with the Becca highlight. So as you guys can tell already, it's pretty bright. Let's see the Becca one. This one's my all-time favorite, the Becca one. So I don't know. Let's see if the Wet n' Wild one beats it. Damn. I feel like they do the same thing. Let's go and layer it more. Guys, I really feel like it does the same thing. The only thing is this isn't really my color, I guess, so you can see it more, whereas this one just looks more natural looking because it works with my skin. But pretty much they both do the same thing. So if you guys are interested in saving money and getting the wet and wild one i recommend getting the wet and wild one because it does the same literally the same thing as my becca one so save your money girlfriends i'm telling you it's worth it but if you want to go the extra long while get my girl becca over here she's great look at that highlight it's so pretty everything is just so pigmented so clear so pretty just looks great so these are two highlighters I am recommending to the both of you, to, to the both of you guys. Like I'm talking to two of you, to all of you guys. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little test video I did for you guys with all these makeup branded products. And if you guys are interested in trying some products and finding another dupe or something for a product, let me know. Leave me some comments below. I hope this video helped you guys choose some products that you want to go forward with or try out. So thank you guys for watching. Leave me some comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked everything that I've mentioned. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't already followed me on social media, I'll link my social media down below so you guys can follow. Thanks, guys. Bye.